AITA for not participating in a speak your full truth session during therapy, in a weird place now and need to know if I'm TA for this or not. My dad, his wife, her oldest daughter, 13, and I of 15M, are in family therapy together. My dad's wife has two other kids. A 9-year-old son who lives mostly with his dad and a 6-year-old daughter who she shares custody of with the kid's dad. They're not in the therapy sessions with us though. The reason we're in therapy is we didn't blend like my dad and his wife wanted us to in the last two years and they wanted to fix things before we're broken forever. My oldest stepsister never knew her dad and her sister's dad dropped her once he and dad's wife broke up. So she really wanted a dad and my dad was willing to be that for her. I admit I'm jealous of that. I don't like that my dad moved on from mom, who died. He's allowed to. He should be happy. I wish he could be happy without replacing my mom. And he kind of has. He shipped all her stuff off, all the photos and mom's things, to my mom's sister and we have nothing. I'm not allowed a single thing since he sold our old house and moved in with his wife. He said we need to make a fresh start with our family. With that he wants to be a stepdad slash dad to her kids and especially her oldest. His wife wants to be my new mom too but I'm not okay with that. I don't see her kids as my siblings either. One I never met, her son, one I hardly ever see, her youngest daughter, and the other annoys me with how often she tries to hang out with me like we're actual siblings, instead of step-siblings, technically. So we started family therapy and really didn't get anywhere because none of our goals aligned. My stepsister wants to be someone's sole priority, my dad wants us to feel like the family we had before, his wife wants us to function as a nuclear family and I just want to keep a good relationship with my dad without needing to be close to the steps. The therapist decided the best way to make some progress was a full truth session where we all say exactly how we feel without holding back and where we're not supposed to hold the truth against each other. I went to the session ready to say how I felt. But then my stepsister spoke first and when she talked about loving me and dad, feeling like she didn't belong, how she wants a sibling who actually feels like a sibling and how much she never felt like she belonged, I didn't feel good about saying I don't care about her, her mom or her siblings at all and don't want to be her brother and don't want to share my dad with her and hate him so much for erasing my mom and wish the whole marriage would end and we'd never see each other again. So I didn't speak when it was my turn. The therapist encouraged me to do it like three times and gave up. My dad was so angry with me afterward and he told me for someone who looked like I had so much to say, saying nothing and wasting the point of the session was sure asterisk why because I was getting in the way of progress. Ita.